Um, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One mulligatani and, um... What is that right there? Is that lima bean? Yes. This dish is traditional, practical, and perfect for any culinary occasion. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 soups. For this list, we're focusing on beloved soups of the world and excluding chili, because, well, it's not technically a soup. Oh, and no stews either. Number 10, cream of mushroom. You take notes, darling. The real way to get a man is with melted cheese and cream of mushroom soup. He'll die at 50, but his love will be true. Not everyone enjoys a well-prepared roux, but if you do, then it only makes sense to go heavy with the cream and top it all off with some tasty mushrooms. This is cream of mushroom soup, friends, and yes, it has been your comforting friend at various times in your life. Sold by the Campbell Soup Company since 1934, but in existence for far longer than that, this canned soup is enjoyed by some people as something of a religious experience, such as those out in Minnesota who call it a Lutheran binder, for example. When something is too dry, what do we do? Cream of mushroom soup. Call it what you want, but it's unlikely that you'll want to deny yourself a big old frothing bowl of mushroomy fun. It has the smooth, creamy elegance that brings a smile to every appetite in the room. Number nine, minestrone. Lovely minestrone, lovely minestra. The ancient Romans were quite busy in their day, constructing statues and building civilizations. But what you may not realize is they were a civilization fueled by minestrone soup. The word essentially means to serve soup, or to someone like Julius Caesar, it probably conjured up images of borlotti beans. Maybe not, but we do owe a lot to the Italians for paving the way for a simple and affordable soup. One that can be your classic veggie soup, whether or not you're in a classical Roman state of mind. Feel free to throw a little meat in there if you'd like. It's all minestrone to us. Well, if I was a soup, I would probably be minestrone. Keep talking. I like your honesty, so does the camera. Number eight, borscht. Borscht would be nothing without beets. If you think beetroots are the hottest new indie band, then you're probably unfamiliar with the sheer mouth-wateringness that comes from looking at a well-prepared borscht soup. Eastern Europeans love it, and some religions even have traditions around it. If you're a virgin to the borscht experience, then it's time to tart up your life with a little cabbage or carrots, or whatever your favorite vegetable happens to be. It's your borscht, and only the finest borscht comes with culinary experience and a genuine love for a strong tart game. It's actually good. See? Oh yeah, I would have that. Number seven, vichyssoise. Cold. It's vichyssoise, sir. It's supposed to be cold. For years, there's been a war of words between the Americans and the French in regard to the origins of this thick soup. Typically served cold rather than hot, the only thing anyone can truly agree on is that it's delicious. What you'll need when preparing a cold bowl for your significant other is just a healthy amount of pureed leeks, chicken stock, onions, potatoes, and cream. Just be sure to make plenty for seconds. I will dip my ladle in your vicious walls. <laughs> Oh! Number six, wonton. If you're a true aficionado of Chinese cuisine, then you've probably got all kinds of wonton recipes. And you surely understand the beauty of preparing these little dumplings with pork and shrimp. But if you're a little more conservative and just desire a common soup, then why not let your local Chinese takeout do the work? Whatever your preference, wontons, green onions, and a delicious variety of spices will thoroughly cleanse your soul with the aid of steaming hot chicken broth. Number five, clam chowder. Chow dear, chow dear, it's chowder, say it right. Any great soup connoisseur understands the importance of a few crackers in clam chowder soup, much like one understands that tomatoes should not be within its sight. Why? Because we're talking chowder here and a classic serving of the famous New England variation has only the essentials, potatoes, onions, and clams. They make it all brothed up and ready to be consumed, whether you like your chowder light or perhaps on the chunkier side. Some may even prefer a little corn chowder to clam. There are no wrong choices here. Is it cream or no cream? Is it clams or no clams? Is it 
Parsley. Yes. Number four, lobster bisque. Lobster bisque. <laughs> Five stars. Five thumbs up. One has a variety of options when preparing a creamy French bisque, at least in terms of vegetables and fruits. But what about when you toss in a finely prepared crustacean? Well, that's a lobster bisque, of course. And if your soup game is on point, then you understand how one can enhance the experience by maximizing the flavor. You can even grind the shell for a little more texture. And for the best lobster bisque, it wouldn't hurt to keep it cool for a while. But we guess it all depends when and where your desire sets in. No, no! <laughs> I love crustaceans here. Yeah. All right, come again. Number three. French onion. Couldn't you have replicated something a little more palatable? You don't like combat rations? A French onion soup would have really been nice. Appropriately titled, this type of soup dates back to the 18th century, where it was served as a soup for the poor. Today, however, French onion soup is and should be enjoyed by everyone. After all, a nice way to kick off any meal is with some caramelized onions, melted cheese, and a monster crouton. Nothing too fancy here, just a beautiful hot mess for your taste buds. A gratinade treat that sets the tone for a larger helping, even if the soup itself used to be the only helping for some. I told you this is about comfort food. It's perfect on a and wet Mondays if you want to brighten your day. Number two, tomato. It's tomato soup. It's hot and creamy. I can actually feel it running down my throat. Stop, don't. As you might have guessed, this soup is made from tomatoes everyone's favorite fruit. Whether you like your tomato soup warm for a comfort snack or cold like the Spanish gazpacho, we think you don't have to be a Giada de Laurentiis of the kitchen to figure this one out. Of course, it was the American soup mogul named Joseph A. Campbell that helped spread the joy of tomato soup to the world. And if you know what's good for you, eat it with a grilled cheese sandwich. Before we serve up a steaming hot bowl of our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, chicken noodle. I'll swing by at lunch and bring you some soup. Okay, chicken noodle with some extra with extra noodle. noodles. I'm on it. Thank you. While many soups on our list may not be weekly or even monthly visitors to your dinner table, you can bet that chicken noodle soup is a pantry regular for most of us. Whether it be for a quick snack, a comfort food, or just something to help you feel a little better when sick, chicken noodle never fails. With such a simple base, chicken and broth, there are so many ways to fancy things up, like by adding dumplings, pasta, rice, or spices. Just don't go overboard. It may be a mainstay, but it's a mainstay for a reason. Gene, take this chicken noodle soup to table five. On it. Do you agree with our list? Oh, yes. What's your favorite tasty soup? For more delicious top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. What is the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that.